Welcome to the Configuring Cisco Outbound option for Package CCE. This presentation will introduce you to the configuration steps required for Outbound option. Cisco Outbound option solution allows agents to participate in outbound campaigns. The outbound option provides the following benefits. Call-by-call -call blending of inbound and outbound calls, flexible outbound dialing mode control, call progress analysis, agent-based and IVR campaigns, contact lists, and personal callback feature. Let's begin by discussing the customer contact list and its relationship to a campaign. Note that all activities discussed here are defined in the Configuration Manager under Outbound Option. The customer contact list is a comma-separated text file that is uploaded to the Outbound database. The import process is a process that runs on the database server for the purpose of importing contact lists into the designated table in the outbound database. This activity is governed by what is referred to as an import rule. The result of this activity is a populated database table known as a contact list. The query rule is a definition that allows you to segment or filter the contact list for a campaign. The result is a dialing list that is used by the campaign for dialing. Let's take a look at the different dialing modes available for package CCE outbound dialing. There are two basic models shown here. The preview mode allows a reserved agent to preview a customer record before the outbound call is made. When the agent previews the record, the agent then has the ability to choose to accept, skip, or reject the outbound call attempt via their agent desktop. The main difference between preview and direct preview is that in preview mode, the dialer dials the contact, performs call process analysis, and then passes the call to the agent. In direct preview, the CCE system dials the contact using the agent's ACD line. In the progressive predictive modes, multiple outbound calls are made for each reserved agent. When the calls are answered, Call progress analysis is performed to determine if a human has answered the call, which can then be passed to an agent. The goal of dialing multiple contacts for each agent is to have one human answer the phone for each agent, assuming that other calls will either not be answered or answered by voicemail. If an answer machine, voicemail, or too many other humans answer, then the call can be otherwise handled by sending the contact to an IVR. The main difference between progressive predictive dialing mode is the method of choosing how many lines per agent to dial. Here you see the main components required for SIP-based dialing solution. The data server houses the campaign manager and the outbound database. The import and the campaign manager functions run as processes on the data server and are enabled as an option in the web setup tool. The outbound database is a separate CCE database that is installed using the ICM DBA tool. For agent-based campaigns, the call server is used for the agent reservation. In an IVR-based campaign, it will also be used for the instructions on how to move the call to the CVP server. The SIP dialer component is always installed on the call server using the Peripheral Gateway Setup Program. Once the campaign has started, the dialer dials the contacts and directs the all activities of the call until it reaches an agent or an IVR port. If you are using a preview mode of outbound dialing, you must enable the preview mode interaction buttons for agent interaction. Cisco Unified Manager is used for agent-based campaigns to deliver the call to the agents. All other outbound campaign activities, including IVR-based campaigns, do not need Communications Manager. The voice gateway is used to place the outbound call and to initially answer the call. When the call is answered, the voice gateway performs call analysis, known as CPA, to determine if a human answered the call or some other device. Let's take a look at agent-based outbound call flow. Assuming that there are customer records available, the first stage of any outbound campaign is for the campaign manager to start the campaign process. The campaign manager uses the campaign definitions created in the configuration manager to create dialing lists that are sent to the dialer for dialing. Before dialing can begin, the dialer must reserve one or more agents. Again, based on the campaign definitions created in configuration manager, the dialer will issue a route request to determine which agent or agents can be used for outbound calls. The dialer makes this request 
to the media routing PIM. The media routing PIM issues the request to the CCE router. The CCE router will then run an agent reservation script. This will determine whether an agent is available or not. The CCE router selects an agent and issues a response label for that agent. The dialer is notified of the agent that can be reserved. The dialer uses the CTI layer to communicate to the agent's desktop to place the agent in the reserved state. The dialer can now communicate with the voice gateway to initiate the outbound call. The call is now placed to the outbound contact. When the call is answered, the voice gateway performs call progress analysis. For the purposes of this call flow example, a human answers the call, and the dialer provides a SIP invite to move the caller to an agent. Dial peers on the gateway point to call manager to have the call delivered to the agent's phone. The call is now in session. Now let's look at transfer to IVR outbound call flow. Assuming there are customer records available, the first stage of any outbound campaign is for the campaign manager to start the campaign process. The campaign manager uses the campaign definitions created in the configuration manager to create dialing lists that are sent to the dialer for dialing. Since this is a transfer to IVR campaign, there are no agents involved and the dialer can simply start dialing outbound contacts. The SIP dialer directs the voice gateway to dial a contact. The call is then placed to the outbound contact. When the call is answered, the voice gateway performs a call progress analysis. The dialer is then notified of the status of the call. The campaign will use the dialed number specified in the indicated field shown here to issue a route request to the CCE system. The dialer issues the route request to the media routing PIM. The media routing PIM issues the route request to the CCE router. The dialed number of the route request correlates to a CCE script that runs. The CCE script now takes control of the call. The CCE script logic will encounter a send to VRU script node. This causes a response label to be sent to the dialer which passes it to the gateway to direct the call to the CVP. The response label is pre-configured and associated to the network VRU definition before the CCE deployment is designated as a PCCE deployment. The response label is sent back to the dialer via the media routing PIM. The SIP dialer then passes the label to the gateway. The label correlates to a dial pair on the gateway that points to the CVP system. The gateway communicates with the CVP, indicating a call arrival. In addition to this dial pair, another one is needed for the gateway to move the call to the CVP and has a session target which points to the CVP IP address. The CVP system reports call arrival via the IVR PIM to the CCE router. The Send2 VRU script now completes. Now, the CCE script can direct the CVP system to run one or more CVP scripts to provide caller treatment. The CCE router can now direct CVP to run one or more CVP scripts for call treatment. The CVP system now controls caller treatment under direction of the CCE router. Now let's take a look at the required configuration. We'll begin by configuring the dialer. Configure the dialer by using Configuration Manager to open the dialer configuration tool. Choose SIP, provide a name, and configure other required options. Make sure to click Save before advancing to the Port Map Selection tab. On the Port Map Selection tab, add and define dialer ports that will be available on the Voice Gateway. For agent-based campaigns, you must have at least one skill group and associated agents configured for the CUCM peripheral. You must now enable all BA variables for display to the agent's desktop in the Expanded Call Variables tools. Now you will need to configure a call type for the agent reservation process. You will also need to create another call type for transferring calls to the IVR. For agent reservation process, you will need a dialed number. You will also need a dialed number for transferring to IVR. Both of these configurations relate to entries on the Skill Group Selection tab of the Campaign Definition. Next, we'll look at outbound installation. To start the installation process, you must install the outbound database on the data server. Use the ICM DBA tool to perform this activity. After the outbound database has been installed, you must run the web setup tool for the data server and use the checkbox to enable the outbound option. This option allows the campaign manager 
and the BA import process to start. Use the Peripheral Gateway Setup tool to install the dialer component. Make sure to choose the SIP protocol. Next, indicate the name of the dialer. Choose Cisco Voice Gateway and enter the IP address. On the next screen, enter the IP address of the data server and the CTI server that is servicing your agents. Click Next until you complete the dialer setup. This training session assumes that you have already installed the Peripheral Gateway for the Communication Manager, but you must also install a Peripheral Gateway for the Media Routing PG. Choose to add another Peripheral Gateway. This Peripheral Gateway will be a Media Routing PG. When installing the PG, add a PIM that points to the machine that contains the dialer component. Also use the appropriate Peripheral ID and Logical Controller ID that was obtained from the PG Explorer in Configuration Manager. Now let's look at campaign configuration. In Outbound Options, System Options, use the General Options tab to specify the system-wide dialing time frame. No outbound campaign will dial numbers outside the times declared here. Note this time range is for the customer time, not the package CCE system time. You must configure an import rule to import contacts for a campaign. On the Import Rule General tab, specify a name, table name, the contact file location, and other file attributes. On the Definition tab, define the fields of the contact list file to be uploaded. On the Schedule tab, indicate when the file should be uploaded. You must configure a query rule for your contact list. This query rule, which is used in the campaign definition, is used to allow you to filter or segment records from your contact list if desired. You must always specify a valid rule clause. If you do not want to filter any records, a clause of 1 equals 1 is valid and will not filter any records. In Configuration Manager, configure a new campaign under the Outbound option. On the Campaign General tab, Provide a name and any other relevant predictive progressive dialing options as desired. On the Campaign Purpose tab, indicate whether this campaign will be agent-based or if it is a transferred IVR campaign. By default, agent-based campaigns with call progress analysis is enabled. Use the checkbox to enable answer machine detection and associated options. Based on the needs of your campaign, you must add one or more query rules as an ordered list. This allows you to have different contact list filtration rules for different times of the day. On the Skill Group Selection tab, you must configure the campaign to use one or more skill groups. If this is an agent-based campaign, enter a dialed number that the dialer will use to reserve agents. Each skill group will use its own dialer number. If you are experiencing a high abandon rate, you can use the Overflow Agent field to hold back agents to answer the higher than expected answer rates. This is more useful when using multiple skill groups. Enter the number of IVR ports you want available for this skill group. This field is used when agents are not available and for transfer to IVR campaigns. For calls where an answer machine is detected or for transfer to IVR campaigns, enter a dialed number the dialer will use to issue a route request to start a CCE script. The CCE script will be used to control the call movement and treatment in CVP. If this is an agent-based campaign and you are using CVP to answer calls when no agent is available, again, enter a dialed number the dialer will use to issue a route request to the CCE script. The CCE script will be used to control the call movement and treatment in CVP. The Call Target tab is used to designate time attributes for your outbound contacts. The Daylight Savings Zone is a default time zone only used when a contact number does not map to a time zone in the database. Choose one or two time zones of the day to be used for this campaign. For example, you might have a campaign that runs in the afternoon and one at night. During the afternoon, your contacts might be more apt to answer one phone, and at night, they might answer another. You can use different zones to prefer different numbers to obtain a higher answer rate. Again, note that the time ranges are for the customer time, not the package CCE system time. This is an example of an agent reservation script. An agent will be available or not. This script does not need any more complexity than this. 
The exception to this is when you are using many skill groups and you want to have all the agent reservations in the same CCE script. Remember, each skill group will use its own dialed number that is specified in the skill group selection tab of the campaign definition. Map all the dialed numbers to the same call type that runs your agent reservation script. Your CCE script will look just like this one, except there will be many instances of select and skill group nodes, and you will use a dialed number script node to point to the correct skill group. For transferring calls to CVP, you will need to use different CCE scripts, and of course, different dialed numbers. These scripts should be designed like other CVP scripts to move the call to CVP and control caller treatment. This example shows the correlation of an agent reservation dialed number to the call type that points to the agent reservation CCE routing script. Again, remember that this dialed number is specified at the skill group selection tab of the campaign. CCE uses admin scripts to set two main attributes for agent-based campaigns, the dialing mode and the percentage of agents that will be allowed to be used for the outbound dialing. These settings are set on a per skill group basis. You must set these attributes for each skill group or they will not be available for outbound dialing. Each skill group requires two set variable script nodes and the admin script doesn't need to know any more complexity than this. Again, an exception occurs if you plan on using different attributes based on the time of day. For example, you might want to use a direct preview dialing mode in the morning and a progressive dialing mode in the afternoon. You are finally ready to start your campaign. To start your campaign, make sure you have agents available, the dialing time and campaign is enabled, and a contact list has been uploaded. This concludes this presentation. This presentation has provided you with an overview of the tasks required to configure Cisco Outbound Option in a packaged CCE environment.